Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. My favorite and almost everyone's favorite summer constellation. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. You know, if I had to pick only one constellation which I like better than all the rest in summer skies, it would have to be the ancient, gigantic, and dreaded Scorpius the Scorpion. Let me show you how to find it. Okay, we've got our sky set up for any summer night in June, July, or August, facing south before midnight. And depending on what month and hour you look, the Scorpion will be either southeast, due south, or southwest. But you should have no trouble finding it because it's huge, and one of the few constellations which actually looks like its name. Indeed, if we connect each bright star in Scorpius with lines, we could see a very simple line representation of a scorpion with his claws drawn in. Or if you're afraid of scorpions, you can imagine this constellation to be a giant fish hook as seen by some ancient Polynesians, or the capital letter J for Jack. Scorpius has been around for thousands of years and was depicted by many cultures, including the ancient Egyptians. In ancient Greece and Rome, however, the scorpion was much bigger than now, and its claws extended forward from it, as if getting ready to grab whatever planets or comets might come its way. And if you look closely, you'll see two stars where his claws used to be. They are named Zubanel Janubi and Zubanesh Shamali, and in Arabic literally mean the northern claw and the southern claw. But Julius Caesar and his megalomaniacal friends in the Roman Senate decided that Rome was so special that it needed its own constellation as a form of ancient PR. So they did a hatchet job on Scorpius Claws to make up the constellation which they said stood for the Roman symbol of justice. Libra. Talk about cosmic injustice. At any rate, once you found Scorpius, with his claws no longer outstretched, pay particular attention to where the scorpion's heart should be. Because believe it or not, there, just by coincidence, a red star named Antares is right where his red heart should be. And this star, Antares, is my very favorite summer star, hands down. Because it is one of the three largest stars we can see with the naked eye. Now, I usually refer to our sun as being a million miles wide to make it easy to remember. But in fact, it is a bit short of that number, being only 865,000 miles wide, but which is still pretty huge compared to our 8,000 mile wide Earth. In fact, our sun is so huge, we could fit over a million and a half of our Earths inside it. And Terry's, however, puts our sun to shame because it is 700 times wider than our sun. So huge, we could fit over 350 million suns inside it. Or if you like to think of it this way, if we place one edge of it where our sun is, it would reach out past the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Wow! And it is so far away that it takes 600 years for its light to reach us. So whenever we look at Antares, we see it not as it exists now, but as it existed 600 years ago. Wow, again. So get thee out any summer night and marvel at the magnificent scorpion who should fill you full of wonder instead of ancient dread. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.